All right, all right, Shalom. All right, this is the brother Atazawam coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Awashai with another lesson. Lord willing, I do hope and pray that it's edifying. Uh, before I begin this lesson tonight, I want to give all praises, all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And as always, peace, love, many blessings unto the elect. All right, this lesson is going to be entitled, um, Pray That the Light Remains With You in Times of Darkness. Okay, as, as you know, um, or you should know, as we've been continually reiterating uh, for the last decade or so that there are dark times coming upon the earth, very dark times. Okay, gross darkness is going to cover the earth, meaning that it's going to be troublesome times, a time of tribulation that has never before been seen on the earth since there was a nation. And within that darkness, there will be glimpses of light that will shine in that darkness and that light is going to represent the truth, okay? The truth of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which is going to be within members of the elect, okay? The clairvoyance, you know, the vision of Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to be imparted into those individuals, which is why we must pray that the Lord continues to shine his light upon us, okay? Because the Lord, hey, if you go all the way to the heavens, the Lord is, is, is a... You know, it's illuminated, okay? The throne of the Lord is illuminated, okay? When you read uh, in the book of Matthew, the 21st chapter, when it talks about Yahweh Shai coming back uh, with, the, with the power and the glory of the Lord, all right, when you look into the word glory, it goes into an exterior um, brightness, you know? Because the Father, is, his throne is, is, is very bright because he's illuminated, so that light that the Father has, which is, has been given to us through this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, is what's going to actually carry us through these dark times, okay? Like the, the scriptures tell you in Proverbs 29 and 2, it says that where there is no vision, the people perish, okay? And light gives you vision and, and when it's dark out, okay? And I ain't talking about a physical darkness. I'm talking about a spiritual darkness where there's going to be plagues that's going to come upon the earth. And a lot of people aren't going to have the answers. OK, a lot of people is not going to know what's coming upon the earth because the light of the Lord hasn't been um, shined upon them. That's why now that we understand these prophecies and we understand the, 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 the direction of the world and the posts in which, you know, we expect things to get worse. You know, we pray to the Lord. That's why we send up the anointed prayer, okay? And we ask the Lord to continue to shine that light upon us. So this is the book of Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. And that light came into the earth through who? Through Yahweh okay? And I'll prove that real quick. Let's go to the book of Luke. All right, should be Luke 9. Uh, you know, no, John. All right, it's the book of John, chapter 9 and verse 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. So when Yahweh Shai came into the world, he was the light because he had the fullness of the truth. He came to fulfill that which was written, which is why the scriptures say that the word became flesh. Okay, because the book from, from page to page was, is written of Yahweh Shai. And then he came in the flesh to fulfill those words to testify that he was actually the son of man. So that's how he became the light. Okay. Because the words were written of him. All right. Now let's go back to Isaiah, the 60th chapter. Let's read through it. Isaiah 60 and one arise shine for thy light is come, which is who Yahweh shy and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Now let's look into the word glory here. All right. That word there is kabod, and it means honor, glorious, abundance, splendor, dignity, reputation, honor, reverence, or glory. Okay? So it shows you that the Lord has a level of splendor about this truth. Okay? This truth gives you a splendid spirit. Okay? Verse 2, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. 
but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And this is also going into that time uh, of, of uh, where we fell away, the children of Israel, where we fell from the, uh, um, you know, the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. We fell from the truth. OK, that gross darkness that came upon us, you know, during the transatlantic slave trade. OK, well, guess what? The Lord shined his light upon us now. Through our through the pioneers of the truth, starting with Elder Abba Bivens, you know, all the way down, you know, to the, our current apostles and elders that we have today. That was a part of the Lord shining that light upon us. OK. It says, but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee and the Gentiles shall come to thy light and the kings to the brightness of thy rising going into these uh, these Israelite foreigners. OK. So, man, the Lord is giving us an opportunity to actually, you know, take the seat of a world ruler. OK, that's why we have to continue to keep this light at the forefront of our life. OK, everything else comes secondary because anything that you put before the Lord, OK, is going to be taken away from you. It's going to be cast down. So that's why we must continue to keep. This truth as, as our main priority, man. Okay? It says, lift up thine eyes round about and see all they gather to themselves together. They come to thee. Thy son shall come from afar and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Okay? Meaning the Lord is going to, hey man, the Lord is going to actually send blessings unto the elect. Okay? The Lord is going to gather us out of this place. OK, into um, what, what the world call UFOs. OK, the elect is going to be gathered together under one umbrella with Yahweh Shai. All right. And, 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 and he's going to put the heathen nations under us. OK, we're going to take their lands. We're going to take their resources. OK, we're going to put their asses in hardcore slavery. OK, we're going to have every everything that, that belongs to the heathen will belong to us, including their women. OK. See, that's a part of kingship. You know, Yahweh Bashima was shy is about to actually establish the, 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 the house of David on top of all governments on the face of the earth. But but he's doing it through this light. OK, through it's all through the light. So pray that the Lord continues to keep that light upon you when this when this darkness comes, man. OK, matter of fact, let me go to, um, where I wanted to go. Now, if I can go back to John. Okay, John chapter nine and verse three. Yahweh shall answer, neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but the works of the Most High should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. You see that? So the day represents what? This liberty, this time of peace that we're in now, where you can actually go out and do lessons. You have cell phone technology to do lessons. You can go down to the camp. You can fellowship with brothers. You know, you can read your Bible on your phone and you can get all the information that you need pertaining to the scriptures. That that's what that's what the day represents. The time that we're in now. Technically speaking, we're in the day. But the night is going to be a time of trouble. Where you're not going to be able to upload on YouTube. You're not going to be able to go to camp. Okay? Hell, you might not even be able to go outside. You're not going to be able to do these works then. Now the light that was supposed to be in you is going to have to actually uh, get you through this, this night. Do you have enough spiritual battery to get through this night? Okay. Were you charging your battery while it was day? You see? So that's why we must pray to the Lord and ask the Lord to continue to guide and govern our steps in the way of righteousness, man. Matter of fact, let's go to... uh. Numbers six. Okay. Let me see. I'm sorry. One second. Go to the Lord's Prayer. All right. Number six and twenty five. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to start at 24. 
the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The word keep in the Hebrew is shamar, meaning to watch over you. The word bless in the Hebrew is barak. Okay, so we want the Lord to bless us, okay, and keep us, watch over us, protect us. All right, verse 25, the Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious upon thee. Because like I said earlier in the lesson, the throne of the Most High is illuminated. It's a bunch of fluorescent, illustrious lights that, that's around the throne of the Lord. And that light is actually being passed along into your spirit if you can contain it. Okay? So when the Lord shines his face upon you, it's literally, he's actually giving you this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Which is why in return, as you continue to grow in the wisdom, your face begins to what? Glow. That's why the scripture says what? The wi a wisdom maketh a man face to shine. Why? Because we have the same light that the Father has through His only begotten Son, Yahushua. Okay, and as as that that light is being hardwired into our spirits, we're becoming more like unto Thee because He's what He's shining out His face onto us. He's looking upon us now. There was a point in time where the Lord wasn't looking upon us. Matter of fact, let me show this. Uh. All right. Let me see here. Mm -mm. All right. This is um the book of uh, uh, uh I'm trying to find the, the proper one. Bear with me one second. Okay, here we go. Psalm 69 and 17. It says, And hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am the for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Okay? So if the Lord hides his face from you or he turns his face from you, that means that you become back in darkness. Okay? Because remember, the Lord's glory, the glory of the Lord is in the heavens, and the throne is it's illuminated. It's it's a, it's lights. OK, so if the Lord turn his face from you, OK, then that, mean, that means what you become in darkness. But if the Lord shines his face upon you, mean he looks upon you and he grants your prayers and he receives your supplications and he look upon your works and your faith and, and things of that nature, then that light continues to grow because the Lord's face is shining upon you. OK. Now, let's read that again. Number six and twenty five. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Yeah, because remember in the wilderness, when Moses went up into Mount Sinai before the face of the Lord, Moses came back down what? Shining. His face was shining because he was before the glory of the Lord. So he had the light in him. That's why he came down from the mountain with what? With the law, statutes, and commandments. Because the Lord is is a, is a, is a, is a light. He, his spirit is bright. Okay, the Lord lift up His countenance upon thee and give thee peace, and they shall put My name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. So we're going to be the Lord's people, and He's going to be our Lord again. But it's going to come through the obedience and following the light. Okay, because the Lord, his, if the Lord is hiding His face from you, then that means that you're not going to be full of that light. That's why the scripture say, keep your eyes single that thou may be full of light. Okay? And the light represents the truth. Okay? Being able to actually see certain things play out on a global scale, but not get emotional because you understand what's written. You understand the prophecies. You understand what's to come on the earth. You know that when Satan is fucking with you. You're able to detect a lot of things with the spirit of, of discernment. Because it's the light. But see, a lot of these people out here, they're not going to go. They're not going to know if they coming or goddamn going when all hell break loose. Because the Lord's face is not shining upon them, man. Okay? So, Lord willing, that was an edifying lesson until the next time. I want to give all praises, all glory, and honor to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kakodash. Double honors once again to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, 
Many blessings to the elect. Shalom.